You ready, pup? You ready? Let's go. Good morning from Denver. I spent the night at a KOA campground in the, just right outside of Denver. This is not your typical morning. I dropped the lease off at the Denver airport so she could fly to California. She's getting on a the new Carnival Forenza and she is heading to Ensenada and Cabo San Lucas. It's an inaugural sailing. So of course she needs to be there to bring you all the greatest footage and do a ship tour and all that cool stuff. But me and Pepper are going to make our way to California. I think I'm gonna make my way to Oceanside first just because uh, got some good memories there with my boy from being in the Marines. Um, I'm probably gonna break it up into like three, five hour days because it's about a 15, almost 16 hour journey. And I don't wanna keep Pepper in the van too, too long. Otherwise she gets restless, so yeah. And then uh, in five days, when Elisa gets off the cruise, we will hook back up and continue our RV adventures. But for now, it's just me and Pepper. You ready, Pep? All right, so we are done driving for today. I was able to make it about six hours before she got restless. That's about her cutoff, five to six hours about her cutoff. So we got nine hours, 58 minutes left before we get to Oceanside. I'll probably break that up into two more days. But we are here in a little town called Green River in Utah. Cute little town, about a mile off of I-70. I drove the whole stretch, the two mile stretch through town. It reminds me of the, the little street in the movie Cars. You know, Cars 1, which I love. Um, but we are posted up at a KOA right now. I just got done running her at the dog park, bleeding all that energy that she had out. She's currently laying on the floor, so it worked. One thing I've noticed though, she is so sick of the rocks and the dirt. She's used to our yard. We have a really nice, like lush green grass and she's used to it. But it's funny because every now and then we'll like go to a really nice gas station. They have really lush grass. You can tell they take care of it, manicure it, water it and stuff. It's real thick. She will get in that stuff and just roll around and roll around. She loves it. She's like, oh, I miss this. I miss this. <laughs> I have to drag her out of it basically. But what's cool is here at the KOA that we're posted up at right now, we have AstroTurf, green AstroTurf, right outside of our door at every site here. And the first thing we did when we pulled up is open the van, she leaps out and she peed all over it. But I will say this, Pepper has been an amazing travel buddy. She keeps me company. She has hadn't had any accidents. She does really well. She's completely potty trained. So happy about that. Yeah, so we're here for tonight. We're gonna chill, get some rest. I'm gonna walk her as much as I can, and then we will continue our journey tomorrow. Elisa is safe and sound on the Carnival Frenzy. They are taking off for their inaugural sailing today. She's gonna be doing videos about that, doing ship tours and all that, so that's cool. Make sure to check that out. And I will see her in five days. So I lied to you a little bit. She did have an accident last night. Yeah, she peed on Elisa's bed, but I fell asleep. We kind of went to bed early and I don't think she wanted to wake me up. So she had an accident on her bed. At least I wasn't happy about that. <laughs> so I immediately pulled the sheets off so it didn't get down into the actual sofa, which it didn't luckily, but I got rolled all the sheets up. I'm about to go do some laundry. Hopefully I got enough quarters. Got to do a little catch first before we go do laundry. She's not going to let me leave unless we do. Uh, the grip on this girl. Okay, the laundry is on, and now it's dinner time for Pepper. And uh, let's see, for tonight's menu, we have Buffalo Blue home style recipe chicken dinner. We're gonna break that up in a little bowl here, put a little kibble with it, which is also Buffalo Blue. So that's what we're feeding her now. She seems to really like it. Tried some other stuff. She didn't like it. She likes this. So I'm coming, Pep. And we have tiny travel bowls. Probably gonna change that out and get a regular size bowl because whenever I put the kibble in here to give her enough food, 
she goes right in and it just comes right out. You know what I'm saying? Look. Oh, yes. Look at that. Mmm, delicious goodness. Now let's put the kibble in. All right. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the kibble. Here we go. This is the kibble of choice at the moment. All right. We got the Grand Tour, which is one of my favorite entertainers right now, Jeremy Clarkson. I love his Clarkson's Farm 1, 2, and then May 10th, Clarkson's Farm 3 comes out. And I love all the like Grand Tour stuff and Top Gear stuff. I, just, I could watch him all night. He's hilarious. All right, kibble time. She's gonna make a mess. You ready, Pep? Oh, here it comes. Come on. There you go, Pep. Oh, right into it. Oh yeah, she's tearing it up. Good girl. Well, good morning from beautiful Utah. And it is a very, very beautiful morning. Pepper and I had a great night's sleep. Got a little chilly, about 40 degrees, but I got up and cut the heat on, so we were good. Because it was really warm during the day. Uh, had a great little meal last night. I created pepper, walked down the hill and had a nice little meal at the restaurant here. I did not get the laundry done because I didn't have enough quarters. Well, I had enough money. It's $2 to do the dryer, $2 to do the washer, but you can only have quarters. I had a bunch of nickel and dimes and it wouldn't uh, take that. And the office would not take my credit card and let me get five or $10 worth of quarters. I had to have real green cash to exchange for quarters. Did not, which I gotta stop and get some of that so I can get her sheets clean because they still have dog pee on them right now. Anyway, Pepper is sitting in on those sheets in the driver, in the passenger seat, ready to go. Oh, I'm half asleep as you can tell, but I got my coffee and it's gonna be another long day of driving. All right, Pepper, you ready? Pepper? You ready? <laughs> she said yes. 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 Somebody's ready to play. It's not play time, Pepper. It's go time. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Made it finally holy cow what a journey with with the puppy but she did so good pepper's my little rock star my girl but we are here we made it to oceanside harbor we're gonna spend the night here for the night there's no electric hookups it's straight up boondocking but it's we're actually parked in front of the bay and then right over here is the uh the ocean i'm gonna hopefully when it clears out move over there because i want a view of the ocean uh, so we're basically boondocking here it costs 30 dollars for the night to stay here there's no electric there is a dump station uh on the way out so you can dump and then tomorrow we are going to carlsbad state park beach and they have a campground there we're gonna spend the night uh the next two nights there and then tuesday we're gonna pick up elisa and then who knows what but we are here pepper is chomping the bits to get out and see the beach man she was perched up on the seat just looking around going whoa i've never seen anything like this you can tell she's excited makes me excited so we're gonna go i'm gonna go get her on the beach for the very first time and then i'll have sand all over the place i'm pretty sure about it right pep good morning it is the next day it's actually noon and uh, I'm hungry. Had a great night last night at Oceanside Harbor. Slept great, opened all the windows up, ran the generator just so we could have our, our little sound machine to kind of put us to sleep. But opened all the windows up, got that wonderful ocean breeze, slept like champs, met some really cool people last night, had carnitas actually on a park bench right on the beach super cool but it's the next day i'm hungry and when in california you gotta eat an in and out burger and i'm going animal style this time
Okay, so this will be the last stop before I pick up Elisa, which will be in two more days. So we are at the South Carlsbad Beach State Park. It has a uh, RV campground here right on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific. It's got a camp store and everything. We've stayed here once before, super cool little spot. Um, you can't check in until two, so there's a line of RVs waiting to check in. And this is where I'll be for the next two days, me and Pepper. So it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna take her down the big staircase onto the beach whenever it's low tide. It ought to be pretty cool. She's gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Just stopped off at the grocery store, got some, some food for the next couple of days. So we're gonna post up here. Might leave and venture out, may not. We may just straight up camp for the next two days. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, Pep's chewing on a new pig ear that I just bought her at a pet feed store. She's a happy girl. We're here and this is nice. It's a beautiful day. This is a really cool little site. It's got a picnic table, a fire ring, which they all do. No electric. I'm just gonna run the generator maybe for the sound machine if the ocean isn't loud enough for us. Yeah, we'll just open the windows up and snooze like babies. But right now there's no one across the street from me in that site. So I got a clear open view of the ocean. So I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. because uh, she wants the more shady side, so of course I had to turn around for her. But that's all good because it's more comfortable this way anyway. Got the awning out halfway because, well, about a third of the way because it's so windy out here and I'm facing against the wind so I can keep it out some. Got my rocking chair out. Got it all spread out, man. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, and by the way, uh, just to kind of let you know what this costs, this is a single spot. It has no power. They do have a dump station that you can dump before you leave. This spot here costs fifty dollars, uh, with a seven dollar and ninety nine cent reservation fee. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to be moving to another site that has power. That's going to be seventy five dollars. It's also a single site, um, seventy five dollars for that, and you have to pay a reservation fee every time you move or make a reservation. We've been burning both ends. Keeping the lights on Angels come down From the heavens Just to help us song Come to teach us Then leave us Just to find some other Ah, oh, what a beautiful day in Carlsbad, California. Wow, not a cloud in the sky, you guys. Pepper is currently eating her breakfast and we are gonna take a walk. Jason is here to get me. Yes. Hello. Hey, honey. You need a lift? Yes, please.
from Malibu, California. Jason picked me up today in Long Beach from the Carnival Forense and we have come a little bit further north to Malibu. We've got a beautiful campsite. Yeah, that's the Pacific Ocean. And there's our van. Literally, we are hanging off the cliff. The Pacific Coast Highway or the PCH is right down below us. The ocean waves are coming in. So it's like got off a cruise and I still have the Pacific right here in front of me. Pepper is trying to eat a palm tree that we found a piece of a palm tree on the ground. She's having a good time with that. But what a beautiful day this is. Look at this. It's sunset. It's cool. The ocean's right there. It's great. Jason and Pepper are inside playing. Can you hear the squeaky toy? Well, you know, it's funny though. So typically you're used to looking out at the Pacific Ocean and seeing the sunset over the water. But we're on this weird like bay, peninsula, whatever. And the sunset over there behind the mountains. Not what I was expecting. I was like, oh yeah, we're on the cliffs. We're going to get this amazing sunset over the Pacific. That didn't happen. Still a beautiful sunset, just not that glorious Hey, what's going Water on sunset. Here? <laughs> what are you doing? Playing catch with the dog, trying to keep the dog entertained. <laughs> yep, this is this is us now entertaining a dog. <laughs> She's gone. She's going a little stir crazy because we're learning that not all RV parks have a fenced in uh, dog run to where you can let them off leash. And here, as many RV parks are, you have to keep them on leash at all times. And she doesn't like that at all. Anyway, beautiful place. We've been enjoying our afternoon here. Been wandering around a little bit. There is a uh, walking trail right down below us. Took Pepper for some walks down there and she learned that a cactus on the nose hurts. Anyway, we are gonna call it an early night. Just go chill, listen to the ocean waves crash on and get up tomorrow and figure out what we're doing for the rest of the week. We're doing it. Driving the PCH. First time, this is far north, furthest north we've ever been in California. We're just going right above uh, Ventura, which is about uh, 26 miles up the road here. Uh, and we're gonna be staying at another uh, beach RV park. So we might as well, when we're this close to the coast, might as well hit the beaches. Isn't this drive amazing? Oh man, it's real pretty. Always uh, wanted to do this, and we're doing it. Really cool. And the weather's good, too. And you picked the perfect song. <laughs> epic soundtrack. It's all about the soundtrack. Caution, falling rocks ahead. Ah! We're going through the farming area, and we see strawberry fields all around us, and several vendors on the side of the road selling strawberries, so I gotta get me some. We got strawberries! 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 Yes. So, a, a whole box was 22, a half box was $12, so I got a half box. Look at the size of these strawberries. Hey, but a note. Oh my gosh. As I was sitting here watching Elisa get the strawberries, the cars are passing, I'm seeing the dust from the cars flying onto the strawberries. Yes, so these so, have to be washed. So wash we will them thoroughly. We will wash them when we get to our next campsite and give them a try. Try them now, they're gonna be a bit gritty. Yeah. We'll wait. So last night we were in Malibu. Today was all about vehicle maintenance. We went and got an oil change on the van and she got a wash and she got filled up on gas. But now we're in Ventura, California and we found the best campground right on the beach. This is Hobson County Campground. And look at this. Can you even see the sun setting? But look at the ocean behind me. Like literally, our camper is there. The ocean is there. Unbelievable views. We've been here for a few hours. We've cooked dinner, we've let Pepper play, but the sun's coming down and it's just so epic. So we've got the Santa Monica Mountains behind us then the campground, then the ocean, and pretty much nothing around us. We're kind of like on a stretch of the PCH, away from Ventura, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely beautiful. We're having a great time. Jason had steaks, I had brats for dinner tonight, and now we're just watching the sunset and enjoying the beauty of California. This trip up the coast has been beautiful so far. So Jason spent 
one night in Oceanside, two nights in Carlsbad, then we spent one night in Malibu and now one night in Ventura, all staying at beach campgrounds. It doesn't get much better than this. Ooh, strawberries straight, straight out of the strawberry field. Yes. Oh my God, these right. are the most beautiful strawberries I think I've ever seen in my life. Let me see how they taste. I tell you what? what, every one of them looked handpicked oh my to God. self on, off the road. Okay, I've eaten strawberries my whole life. These are the freshest, ripest, juiciest, most delicious strawberries I've ever had. I am not exaggerating at all. Doesn't that look like the most perfect strawberry? And that belongs on a cereal box, like a cornflakes or something. <laughs> that is a beautiful, I just had one there. My God, they're so good. You can tell these were handpicked to sell out on the road. They picked the best. Every one of them that you bite in tastes the same. They're consistent and just super sweet. The way strawberries should taste, that you want them to taste. And these taste like that. So many times you're in the grocery store and you pick strawberries. And they're it's disappointing. Even, even though they're red, you know, they look right. They still just are disappointing. Tired of grown, man. My dog's going crazy. <laughs> He's wearing us out, y'all. Pepper, you tang- <sighs> She's tangled. <laughs> Jason crossed a couple of states without me, so we're gonna put those stickers on. We've got the Utah sticker and the Nevada sticker. So he did spend a night in Utah that was shown earlier in this video and a night in Nevada, so we, these do count. Let's put them on now. Boom! Oh yeah. We're filling it up. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, three more states this trip so far. Elisa gets the privilege to put the stickers on because that's her thing, number one. Number two, I'm always dog sitting. Always dog sitting. <laughs> and let me tell you what, being a new puppy owner of an Australian Shepherd was, I don't know what I was thinking. She's beautiful and we love her. And she's extremely smart, but in case you don't know, Australian Shepherds have crazy energy. Crazy energy. I mean, she's either humping my leg <laughs> or humping somebody else's leg. Uh, she's, she's a bit nippy. You know, she's a puppy, so she wants to put everything in her mouth and she's got razor sharp teeth. We've had people pull, come over. And she's a very beautiful dog, so everybody's like, oh, can I pet her? And I'm, I'm like, warning, she's or not as cuddly as she looks. Oh man, it has been crazy. I was sitting here trying to talk to her, have a conversation with a guy last night. She's, she just starts humping his leg, so I had to pull her off him <laughs> and stand on her lead so we could talk. It was just... Anyway, it's very challenging is, is what my what I'm trying to say here. I hope this is gonna be pepper. This is gonna be worth it. Oh look, she's chewing the, the poopy bag <laughs> container. Well, we love her. Pepper, sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Shake, Pepper, shake. Good girl, Pepper. See, she can do cool stuff, but she's just like crazy. I guess this was the dog meant for me. <laughs> she keeps me on my toes. She keeps us on our toes. Yep. Anyway, whew, whole different dynamic. We have so enjoyed being on the coast of California and right here next to the Pacific for the last few days. But now we are heading inland. So our next stop is Sequoia National Park and then we will figure out our route from there. So look, if you dig this video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. It really helps us get recommended. Thanks for watching.